Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stocks with Show Market Review of the Spy here. Um, my name is Melissa Arma, and I own a company called the Stocks Wish LLC. I've been calling this market very well uh, for the past year here, particularly at the beginning of 2014 when uh, the market was slip, slip sloppery back and forth, back and forth. I said, we're still strong. We're going to still continue higher. We did do that. And then everyone said we were extended. Right around in here in May, people were saying we're extended. And I said, no, we're not extended. Clearly, we're not extended, and we're still not extended. I know people still think we're extended here, but we're just not. Market is beautiful long, beautiful long, and I said for the last few weeks that the target in the spy, I just, it was a couple of weeks ago. It might even be a month ago now. I don't remember if it was May or June. I'd have to go back and rewatch my videos that I have on YouTube to really see when I actually said the first time I said that the spy was going to hit 200 this summer. Uh, which is going to do. I mean, we're almost there. We're a dollar thirty from there, actually, right now today. And uh, so, I really I saw that number in sight a while ago. So, I I I teach a class on how to trade gaps, and I do teach people how to trade. However, there's really is something to what I would call uh, intuition in the market to be able to read things correctly or an instinct. I think that's developed uh, over time as you get experience trading. But you have to learn the right technique, the right way to read price, uh, and you have to have a good mentor. And if you have those things, I think that you can, through experience, be able to pick up your own instinct and intuition in trades. And I'm in the process now of teaching and mentoring people who do my class. And, uh, and they're going through their experience of learning and trading with me on a daily basis. So the SPY is going to hit 200. Will it this week? We've got two more days left of the week, Thursday and Friday. It's really going to depend on how we gap tomorrow. It's 2 o'clock here in the afternoon. I really don't think the market goes much further up here today. What I am looking for, what we have still not done, and what we may very well do, and I think we will do when we reach over 200, is have a big, huge, giantmongous, bullish day of a strong, big, massive, big green bar in the market. And I thought it would be up to 200, the 200 number or so, 205-ish. But I think it's going to be actually through the number and carry through to about 205. I think the market is going to do it on that day when it hits over 200 and go through it and probably go up to like 205. I think the market's going to have a big, massive day when it hits over 200. I thought it would be up to the number, and I think now it's going to be up to the number and through the number is how it's going to set up here. Whether or not that happens this week, I guess we'll have to see how we gap tomorrow. But I know people think this market is really getting extended, but it's not. It is not. It's just strong. Very strong and going to continue to stay strong this year unless something changes in the foreseeable future, which I don't foresee happening. Even the things that are happening in the world right now uh, and outside of the U.S. stock market, even things that are happening in other countries and the crises that's happening in other countries over in the Middle East right now and all kinds of things that is no negative news has really greatly affected the strength and the bullishness in this market. So, you know, there it is. Really good call by me reading this market accurately this year. And, you know, my own ability to be able to focus on nothing but the price and pretty much block out everything else on the planet except for what I see here in the charts. And uh, my advice to anyone is that when you're, when you're new, you do need to listen. And listen from someone that knows how to trade and that can be your mentor. Uh, somebody texted me the other day. It was Mark. Mark texted me the other day. He said, oh, you know, you're, you're the real deal or something. He said, a little course, you know. I mean, the calls that I've been making so far in advance to say that the market is going to go to a place and then it go there and turn out to be the way that I say, plus the stocks that I trade every day. Uh, the way that I trade, the method that I trade in gaps my point rating system, the way that I reprice, it works. It works, and people can learn how to do it and make money in the market if they want to. And uh, I think if people are serious about their trading, and if they really want to do well, then they will take my class and learn how to trade for me. People that are back and forth, not serious, not committed, don't really want to make a good amount of money, uh, won't spend the time and effort to, to learn it. So I think you really have to decide how badly do you want to make money trading in the market? How much do you want to make? And really, how committed are you to your trading career? I think the idea of learning how to trade is important because we've talked about this before in the webinars. You know, uh, people are relying on their jobs. People are relying on all kinds of things 
you know, you never know what the future holds. If you have something to fall back on, even if you don't want to quit your day job and become a full-time trader, if you know how to trade the market and know that you could do that and fall back on it if you ever need to, is a comfort zone for people. But what happens is many people don't put the time and effort into it until all of a sudden they lose their job or they're making less money in their job and then they're in a position where then they have to figure out something else and they have to learn how to trade and take it more seriously or find another job. So I think proactivity is the best course of action here to be proactive in deciding that you want to do something to learn how to trade or invest for your future because you never know even if you have a quality job now and a career that you love you never know what the future holds for social security for your pension for anything for long-term savings for retirement and for job security too so it's all things to consider this is Melissa with the stockswish.com very bullish market here SPY will hit 200. Can't say if it's going to happen yet this week until I actually see where we got tomorrow and Thursday. However, there's quite a few reports out between now and the end of the week. Econ reports that could move the market. And I was thinking the big, bullish, green, huge, jimongous day we have not had yet is still out there. It's, it's out there. It's going to happen. And just waiting for it to happen. Waiting, 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 waiting for it to happen. One thing I know for sure is I'll see it on the moment that it happens live because I'm good at rating price in real life time. And the moment that it happens, and if you happen to be in my live trading room, I'll call it and you can buy the market and we'll know. But I won't know till I see it or I see the gap, either way or both. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Today is Wednesday, July 23rd. Wonderful trading day today. Really good day. Beautiful day outside. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information to sign up for the Golden Gap class this weekend. It is July 26th and 27th. If you want to learn how to trade and you want to participate in the live trading room, which is only open to Golden Gap class students, uh, the class is this weekend. If you want to take it, email me, melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.